Hi, I'm Mitch and this is a quick free CAD tip on finding the toggle construction geometry button and using it to change between normal geometry which is used to build features and construction geometry which is used uh, simply cr to create reference geometries. I'm using FreeCAD 20.2 for this. So let's open up FreeCAD and create a new part. and start in the part design workbench looks like it was already selected S open the sketcher select our plane and here are all, all of our sketcher geometry tools and here is that toggle construction geometry button and you can see that right now we are in normal geometry because all of our geometry tools are depicted with white lines so if I just left click the toggle construction geometry button we turn that to blue lines and now these are used for reference so if you already know the difference between normal geometry and construction geometry and you just needed to know how to toggle between them congratulations you're done if you'd like a little demonstration on how I use either one stick around for a minute or two so I will toggle back to normal geometry and I'm gonna draw a a version of a flange that is in several of my other videos. Right click out of that and if we just need two concentric circles and I'll just manually type in their dimensions here for now and I want another one here and you can see that when I'm drawing the circles before I've dimensioned them they're white just like they are depicted here in the normal geometry. So right click out of that I'll maybe make this 50 millimeters right click to get out, out of the uh, dimensioning and we have a fully defined sketch here so I'm going to using only normal geometry and since I use normal geometry I can use that to create a three-dimensional feature so I'll close the sketch go back to the model we've got our sketch there selected and I'll pad it to I don't care 10 millimeters sounds good and now I'm going to sketch uh, something on this face to make a hole in this flange. So I'll select the face, go back to the sketcher, and now I would like to draw a bolt hole circle, and I'm going to use a reference geometry for that. So I'm going to toggle to my reference geometry, select this, and create a circle there. And you can see that because it's reference geometry, it's depicted with a blue line right click out of there and I'll maybe make this uh, 60 millimeters and so the key here is that right click out of that is that this is not going to create a feature so now I do want to create a bolt hole uh, to cut out so I'll swap back uh, to my normal geometry and make a circle here I'm gonna make that bolt hole circle and that reference geometry circle uh, coincident there or, or tangent I should say and then I'm gonna make that uh, coincident to that and then maybe I'll make my bolt hole circle 10 millimeters okay right click out of that so now I have a fully uh, defined sketch and you can see that my reference geometry is in blue and the thing that I'm going to make my feature with is in green so let's close this out and I've got my sketch selected you can see that only the the normal geometry is shown and I'd like to cut a hole with that and I'm gonna make that a through hole okay and there it is now um, you can see we did not create a feature with that if I had tried to uh, if I go back to my pocket and back into that sketch I can actually toggle this uh, reference geometry to a feature geometry simply by selecting it and it turns green because I've selected it um, and then I can just toggle it to a to a normal geometry and now you can see it's turned bright green just like this circle so if you change your mind about whether you want something to be a reference geometry or a normal excuse me a construction geometry or a normal geometry you can just click on it and I can do the opposite here and I've and now I've made that a reference geometry and I've made this a, a normal geometry and now if I 
uh, come back to my pocket. Uh, it's tough to tell, but my um, my pocket's actually gotten bigger. And that is how uh, we switch between normal and reference geometry and how we use them. I hope that this was helpful.